Hey everyone, it's Pin Pixie here, and I'm going to be doing a video that I've wanted to do and even tried to do um, some weeks ago, but I was very under the weather at the time, and it just sounded like <coughs> everywhere. So I was coughing and sniffling and stuff everywhere. Um, so, round about Yule, I received a wonderful package from Miss Raven50. And I'm going to put a link to her channel in the description. If you're not watching her, you should be. She is just the most awesome person, and I can't say enough uh, kind words about she. I've been watching her since, pretty much since I first got on YouTube um, in the community. And um, she's always got wonderful videos. Um, so you guys should check her channel out. Um... She sent me this package, and I'm not showing everything that is in the package. And there's my cat. She somehow always manages to know exactly where the camera is. Um, I'm not showing everything that's in this package, because some of it is on my Morgan altar. And that setup I'm going to keep pretty secret for the time being, because I'm probably going to use that setup for a pretty long time to come. I'm pretty in love with it. <laughs> um, so, anyway... I will show you some of the stuff that she sent me. Um, it's by far and away not everything, but I did want to show you some of the things because it's important to me that I say thank you to her. Okay, so um, the first thing that I was going to show is the card that was in the package. Um, I'm not going to show you what's inside the card, but um, I thought this was so awesome. It is a watercolor drawing of a raven, and... Um, I thought it was beautiful, and on the back of the card it has some information, not only on the um, artist of the card, but on the raven as well. Um, so let you check that out real quick. Um, so that was the beginning of this package. Okay, so she sent me some... Um, calendula from her garden. I have to come this way. And it is just beautiful. Oh my gosh. And if you haven't seen her garden updates, I highly recommend checking them out. She has quite the green thumb. Um, she sent me some goldenrod, which is also from her garden. She sent me cedar, which was wild crafted. There we go. And she also made for me some cedar oil with vitamin E oil I'm fairly certain but I'm well I'm fairly certain I'll just say that she made this which is absolutely beautiful Um, and speaking of the things that she makes, these are her chakra beads that she's got um, in her store. Um, and I I don't know if she has an actual Etsy store. I should probably have asked her this before I did the video. Well, well I think it's that she sells things on consignment, if I remember her videos properly. But look at the, the charms on the bottom, the triquetta on the bottom, as well as on the top. Just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And she makes these out of actual gemstones as well. Um, she also sent me a fair amount of crystals. Um, this is some Labradorite. Now, Labradorite is one of those awesome stones to have because it's for healing and protection and balancing energies and chakra work. 
You really can't go wrong with Labradorite, so I'm going to love this one. And look at the beautiful colors. There's greens and golds and blues in here. Oh my gosh, such a beautiful, beautiful crystal. My phone in here to see if I can show you these colors better. Um, this is also a good stone for intuition, I believe. Um, a lot of witches use Labradorite, and it's the, uh, a lot of them have it as their favorite crystal. And now that I have one in person, I can see why. It's an absolutely beautiful crystal. Uh, now I'm going to show you the new mite um, that Raven sent, and I love new mite. This has been one of my favorite crystals since I first saw it, and it reminds me of the storms of transformation that one undergoes when something new is taking precedent in one's life, and I love this crystal. You can see the gold flecks in there. Um, it reminds me of, like, the turbulence but the beauty of transformation. Um, she said that she kept buying seashells or finding seashells and she couldn't stop with the seashells. And um, if, if what I got is any indication, she must have a ton, like a treasure trove full. Um, and I wanted to show you like one of the most interesting ones that I found in this bag and I just thought it's absolutely beautiful um okay so to me when I look at this seashell I see um a soldier I don't know if you could see it the, no the mouth on the bottom and the nose and the eyes it looks kinda like a droopy face um and then on the top right here um, you can see the skull. See, here's the face right in this area. And then right here is the skull on the head. And then this is either like a hat or a helmet. Um, I don't know if you guys see it, but a couple people have. I actually posted this pi picture on Facebook quite a while ago. And, um, I was surprised at how many people could actually see it. Um, but I thought that that was amazing. So, um... Definitely um, keeping this um, close because it just it just reminds me of a soldier. A Tibetan flag. I'm gonna actually open it up. So it looks like this. And each um, flag on here, I believe, has a prayer. And it came with this little um, this little insert as to what a, Tib a Tibetan prayer flag is. And the insert says, A Tibetan prayer flag or taxi flag is colorful panels of rectangular cloth often found strung along mountain ridges and high plains in the Himalayas. These are used to bless the surrounding countrysides for peace, prosperity, purification, compassion, success, knowledge, and long life of sentient beings. Traditionally, the prayer flags are hand-blocked, uh, painted with texts uh, or mantras in holy images. The flags are of five colors, viz. blue, white, red, green, and yellow. In Buddhist culture, each color has its own significance, which represents uh, the five elements of life. So blue color represents the sky, white color represents the clouds, red color represents fire, green color represents plants, and yellow color represents the earth. And this flag is absolutely beautiful. Um, so definitely excited about that. I haven't hung it up because I did want to show it to you guys prior to doing so. Um, so now that I have actually shown you guys in the video, I'll be able to hang it up. Yes, yeah, just for now. 
she also sent me what looks like a sage bundle and a cedar bundle. Calmus root. Dietney of Crete. And Jezebel root. So she sent me those. And some of these herbs I've never worked with, so and roots and stuff that I've never worked with, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Cause some of these I've been wanting to work with, and I haven't actually made that known. She also sent me this green Terra incense, which is really awesome. I was reading in the um, the side insert here that this is non-toxic and non-habit forming, which is interesting. Because I've never heard of an incense being habit forming, but um... I suppose, as with any scent or smell or thing, it could be. Um, I need to do some more research on that. It kind of leads me to intrigue. Um, but this is has no camphor or chalking smells, um, so that's always good. If you can have find a natural incense that smells like the uh, flowers or the fragrances that you want it to smell like, and not any of the uh, the more harsh smells. But I definitely want to try this out and um, get a get a really good scent of how it, get a good whiff of how it smells. She also sent me pyrite, which is great for protection and even healing, um, but mostly it's for shielding and protection. And I absolutely love this. Everything in this package is just so amazing, and it's not just what is here, but who sent it. Um, Raven is somebody that I highly respect and have looked up to. Um, I've been watching her videos since I started here on YouTube, um, and since I even got involved in the community to begin with, and her videos are always very uplifting, and she's just a really cool person, so that she would take the time to even think of me, let alone send me something as wonderful as what you see before you. I can't even begin to express my gratitude, and, um you know, come close to how I really feel with words. So really, Raven, thank you so very much for all of this. I almost forgot I have one more thing to show you. This is my little witch that um, was also in the package. And um, I love her. She sits on top of my uh, herb cabinet that you guys saw in the last, in one of my last videos. Um, she sits over there, and she does just perfect over there, and I love, love, love this kindly witch. Um, there she sits, keeping watch over the house and over my herbs, and I couldn't love her more. Thank you guys for watching, and to Raven for the beautiful package. See you next time. Bye-bye.